Hi, this is Chris Smith, <laughs> Shambles Guru on the interweb, and this is my uh, office. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, an answer I think I've done, a bit of a workaround, to use an iPad as a tablet to control something on a Windows machine. So, let me, let me just move the, the cats. Come on, over here. Right, let's go in over here then and sit down at the desk. So just to make it clear that that screen, it's a lovely big screen, is showing uh, a desktop I have under the desk. It's actually around the corner. And here's the iPad. And I have a stylus here. And what I want to be able to do is to use the stylus onto the iPad like a graphics tablet. Now, like much of this technical stuff nowadays, um, it there's lots of answers I'm sure to this so this is just going to be my answer but the first thing I want to do is I want to put a, a, make an interactive whiteboard on here so I've got something to draw on and one of my favorite interactive whiteboards in, in a browser is this one called Scribbler Hand, hands up if you like Scribbler <laughs> okay so let me maximize this screen over here so I have Scribbler on there and if I, actually, if I use the pointer and I use the mouse here, and use a pointer, it's just uh, it's just uh, in uh, Chrome, Google Chrome, and I can uh, click on something and just draw here. You can see I draw a line and draw another line down there. But my challenge here is to actually use the iPad and my stylus. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an app in fact I have a series of apps here you can see them and I'll do it <laughs> listen to the cat <laughs> I should have taken the bell off um, there's a series of apps here which will mirror from uh, a laptop or a desktop to the to the iPad and the the one I'm going to use this time there's a lot of them here and I'll do this screenshot and put it in a blog post with this video the one I'm going to use here is it says you won't be able to read it I don't think Ignition. It's actually log me in. Ignition. And, uh, and here we go. That came up quite quickly. Let's look at my computers. And log me in is actually on all of my computers. And at the moment I have a, a laptop plugged in so I could connect to that. I, and I doubt whether you can really see that. And then there's my HP desktop machine. And let's log into that. Well, by the way, this pointer. Uh, this stylus, you can see it's a fine stylus, it's a special stylus, and I think it's Jot Pro is the name on it, Jot Pro, and I'll do a screenshot of a website uh, where you can see more information about these. It's not the normal f flat, big bit of plastic on the end, rubber on the end. So let me sign in, oops, let me sign in to my desktop, which I think it might be doing now. There it goes. It's asking for a password because I password protected it. I'm not going to show you what it is, of course. Okay, I put the password in to get in. Otherwise, you could be logging into my desktop from uh, from the states, from ISTE, if you're watching this while you're at ISTE. And here we go. And it tells me, it reminds me of the commands to move around one finger, two fingers, all of that. So if I uh, yeah. Actually, you didn't see it, but there was just a flash on the screen up here to show that there's a connection. And right at the very top of the screen, it actually says, it's difficult for you to read there, it says, uh, log me in remote is controlling this screen. So let's continue to the computer. And you can see here, let me use my finger first, on log me in, and it's not a free app, and it's not, uh, yeah, it's quite expensive, I think. But there are other ones. Splash Top is another one. If I put my finger on here, I like the idea that they have the pointer and the mouse here. Because if you put your finger over the pointer, you couldn't see where it's going. So I can go around here, this way. And as I'm doing that, you, oh, you can't see it, but the pointer up on my desktop, my Windows machine. And I could be using my MacBook. This could go to my MacBook just as easily. Uh, you can see I'm using that. Um, and just to show, that the stylus also works. Listen to the mice. Oh, listen to the mice. The mice. Listen to the cats. Um, if I touch here, then let me uh, 
let me choose uh, the pointer here. And you have to double click. And let me just oh, <laughs> sign my name, Chris. Chris in green. Uh, and it's a pity that it's, it's signed my name, Chris in green there. But it also signed my name up there on the Windows machine. So it's using the iPad as a tablet. I think I'd have to get used to this. I'm not quite sure. You have to do a double click to start it working. Uh, let me do a, a circle. Do a big circle. Uh, there we go. Do a big circle. And as I'm drawing it. You see the big circle is actually drawing there as well as I'm drawing it on my iPad. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, using your iPad tablet as uh, a graphics tablet. Um, but uh, uh, I'll add this as part of the uh, post. Now, where's those cats? What are you doing in my? What are you doing in my bag? Oi!